Hey, welcome back there. Uh, I wanted to do an addendum to the physical descriptions that I've talked about in uh, our How to See series in Linear Perspective. And I wanted to add some more three-point perspective components. So there you are way down there, <clears throat> and you're looking through the camera at 45 to 50 degrees now up. So you're at worm's eye view, you're lower looking up. And the reason why I wanted to do this is I wanted to show you again the three point uh, <clears throat> viewpoint that you're getting. Now I've got the same box I had and I've got it level to the ground. And so what I wanna make an issue of is that remember you're about 45 now or 50 degrees above, excuse me, looking up. So your head is tilted looking up. Um, and the head is tilted at that angle. And look what happens to the verticals. Look how much more distorted, even the side of the room. You can see I've got part of the skeleton. You can see above the air duct in, the, in my office here. But look at the angle of the room converging to a vertical vanishing point up, way up above. Look how angled that is. This box is completely flat and level, okay? And it's not tipped or angled. That's that's a that's auxiliary three point. This is true three point. Where again, if your head is raised up at worm's eye view, looking up at an object at about 45 now 50 uh, degrees or so. And let me just move it around, and so you get a feel for that. The reason why I'm doing this is to give you an understanding, an idea how accurate linear perspective is in portraying reality, and what happens when we tilt our angles. So your center of vision is about right in through here, right? <clears throat> right in through there with the level box. But look what happens to the verticals. Here, right? Here on the other side here. Look how angled they are there. They're not true straight vertical like they would be in one point <clears throat> in two point perspective. So no matter where I put this box it's a nice three-pointer. Look how tilted and angled that is. I'll pull it back a little bit and up and you still get that same kind of approach. You have to work to keep it nice and level to the ground. Okay, It's just rising above. It's got to be level. And so look at that distortion. I'll pull it over further so you can see that. So you can see two planes nicely. But look at, see how I've got it to the edge of the camera? And that camera edge running through here that's a true vertical. And remember, my box is level. Look at the angles that are being played off of now that go to the vertical vanishing point, which is way up high up there in the, in, in the ceiling area to give us your vision of about 45 or 50 degrees. And we can even go more extreme with our camo, camera later on, but I wanted to add this. I'm going to do another one after this one in bird's eye view so you see the same thing. I just wanted you to get a more extreme view in physical reality so, reality, so you truly understand what it is that we're looking at and being demonstrative of. This is the same thing can be the same thing as looking up from a street view up to a skyscraper where you really raise you raise your neck and your head up to go look at you know building in Kuala Lumpur or in New York City or wherever you're at London and that's so tall but but you get the idea around the world we have larger taller uh, uh, skyscrapers sorry London you have beautiful architecture too as well don't worry I love London architecture. All right, so I think you get the idea now in three point. Look at the vertical vanishing point, worm's eye view, worm from below, two point here, okay, left and right vanishing point down below on the horizon line, right? <clears throat> and look at the vertical vanishing point way up above and look at these converging linear lines that aren't vertical anymore. And look, when I move them off, look how far off they get pushed. See, I have the edge of the box on the corner of the picture plane, and look how far off they are. It's a good physical description with a level box. Remember, the box is level. Here's your physical description to show you and prove to you how we can capture reality through accurate linear perspective. Hopefully, this will make you excited. That's really, it works. It works, and it's a good way to describe 
through drawing and painting the physical world. Okay, now on to bird's eye view. Okay, bird's eye view with a little bit more extreme viewpoint. We're at 45 or 50 degrees. And again, notice the verticals. Look how truly uh, distorted they are because your head now is tilted down. I don't even have my face. Here I am. I'm truly here, but you don't have to see my ugly face anymore. So what I want to show you is at looking at 45 to 50 degrees down, this box is truly level. I've got it as level as best as I can. My hand shakes a little bit, uh, but I've got it as best I can level, but look at how changed the verticals are going to the vertical vanishing point that's now down below, right, in the ground on the center line, right, center, center lining through here, down below, so that here we're aligned with your center of vision as you're looking down, remember I'm straight up, you're looking down, the box is straight up, it's level. If it hit the ground, it would touch level. But look at the verticals, how they're really now truly distinctly diminishing to a vertical vanishing point. So we're looking down upon this box, a three-point box, and we're not directly down on it. We're about, again, 45 to 50 degrees. I'll hold that to you and look at that viewpoint that you get. So as I move it over out of your center of vision a little bit, I'll keep it two point. Look at how off, it's a level box. Look at how off the vertical is. Let me move it over so you get that second plane. I'm holding it level, trust me. As level as I can make it. Look how far off the verticals are from that, the camera picture plane cutoff. That's dramatic. That's, per, that's perspective working, three-point perspective working for you. That's not a camera distortion. That's exactly how we see. And the more angled we are, 50, 60, 70, 80 degrees, remember, remember 90 degrees goes back to one point or two point, we get more distortion the further down we go. So there you go, bird's eye view of the level box and look how angled those verticals get going to, again, a vanishing point, a vertical vanishing point that is down below on the center line. And there you go. So I wanted to show you both these worm's eye and bird's eye to give you a little bit more understanding about how perspective works and is, is, is perfect reality. Uh, and we can capture that in linear perspective drawing. So hang in there with me and I'll take you deep, deep, deep into these lessons as, we, as the, the months pass. I'll keep adding to it just a little bit here and there with other lessons for other, other projects, right? And we'll go deep, deep, and your understanding, I think, will be hopefully better, better fulfilled, and you'll be hopefully a better visionary uh, artist in what you, you want to accomplish. Okay, I'll see you guys. That was a quick video, but I think an important one to show. Bye-bye.